Okay, uh, it's a uh, great honor for me to be here uh, to talk about uh, a Japanese perspective on peace and maritime cooperation in Northeast Asia. Uh, let me see, I'm not sure how uh, it's going to work. Uh, okay. Uh, Now, uh, I want to talk about uh, infrastructure connectivity in Northeast Asia and uh, 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 various types of uh, Northeast Asian cooperation uh, which would contribute to peace, uh, stability, and prosperity in the region. Uh, and uh, I want to focus on maritime connectivity. Uh, and I Uh, towards the end, I just uh, want to take a look at uh, some historical perspective. Uh, for countries in Northeast Asia, uh, which includes China, Japan, the Republic of Korea, and of course uh, the DPRK, North Korea, uh, Mongolia, and Russia, cross-border movements of goods, services, capital, people and information are key or have, have been uh, key for economic growth. Now, uh, we, I include Mongolia as part of uh, Northeast Asia, although Mongolia uh, has no seaports. Okay. Maritime connectivity has been supporting such economic and human exchanges. Uh, what is further needed to strengthen maritime connectivity in Northeast Asia. What type of uh, regional economic cooperation is useful to facilitate uh, growth and connectivity? How can the DPRK be induced to cooperate with, uh, with uh, its uh, Northeast Asian neighbors? The, these are the issues I want to take up. Now, I am a, a professor, I'm teaching at the, the University of Tokyo, I'm teaching international economics, and also I'm heading a think tank uh, called ERINA, the Economic Research Institute for Northeast Asia. Uh, j just uh, let, let me briefly uh, give you uh, some idea about uh, ERINA. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a local think tank, Uh, established by 11 uh, prefectures facing the Sea of Japan. Those prefectures want to deepen economic exchanges, and they want to understand what's happening in Russia, in China, South Korea, Mongolia, and, and North Korea. And we focus on economic research to promote economic interdependence and economic exchanges. And also, we support business activities uh, in such a way that uh, local uh, SMEs uh, and firms can connect themselves with other firms uh, in uh, continental Northeast Asia. Now, infrastructure connectivity uh, in uh, Northeast Asia uh, In general, infrastructure connectivity can reduce economic distance and increase density and scale of economic activity uh, within and between countries. And Northeast Asia uh, faces a lot of uh, opportunities. Uh, infrastructure connectivity in China, particularly in China's Northeast part, Uh, the Russian Far East and Japanese regions facing the Sea of Japan uh, is quite, uh, quite useful because these uh, parts of Northeast Asia are relatively less developed uh, relative to the economic centers of their own countries. So working together would be very useful. Mongolia as a landlocked country has to work with uh, the surrounding countries 
China and Russia uh, to reach out to uh, uh, maritime uh, uh, ports, maritime connectivity, to enjoy maritime connectivity. Japan and the uh, ROK, South Korea, need maritime uh, and, and also air uh, tra transport connectivity to expand economic uh, exchanges and uh, uh, with uh, the rest of the world, with other Asian countries and the rest of the world. Many uh, of you may have seen this picture. Some of, some of you may have not. Uh, this is a picture uh, taken from the satellite uh, looking at the Korean Peninsula and the northeast part of uh, China and uh, our Shantong uh, province. Now, the middle, in the middle, uh, North Korea uh, uh, is very dark. And uh, there is currently there is no connectivity, land connectivity between uh, South Korea and North Korea. So South Korea seems like an island. So uh, 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 in order for South Korea to, to uh, reach out uh, to China and Russia, uh, South Korea uh, needs to have maritime connectivity uh, and or, or air connectivity. And of course, Japan uh, absolutely needs maritime connectivity. Now, uh, looking at, uh, uh, sorry, uh, let me come back. Uh, uh, now, maritime connectivity is quite important for North East uh, Asia. Uh, container traffic through Northeast Asian ports has quadrupled uh, uh, between uh, 2000, year 2000 and year uh, uh, 2017. And uh, Northeast Asian uh, container traffic accounts for 36% of global container traffic. Uh, that's, uh, that's quite uh, significant. And uh, uh, of these, China, uh, the red part, uh, that this includes uh, China, Japan, uh, South Korea, and Russia. Uh, China uh, accounts for uh, a substantial part of uh, uh, container port traffic uh, in Northeast Asia. Uh, and uh, uh, also, uh, according to the uh, 2017 uh, uh, Lloyd's uh, list uh, of uh, uh, 100 top, top container ports, uh, uh, Northeast Asia hosts 29 uh, major ports, uh, which, is, uh, which is quite, uh, quite something. And China uh, hosts 20 major ports out of uh, these global 100. And uh, Japan uh, hosts uh, uh, five ports, uh, South Korea three ports, and Russia one port. Now, uh, uh, of course, uh, Busan is number five globally. Um, now, this uh, suggests that uh, 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 maritime connectivity is really essential and uh, uh, in particular uh, for China, not only China, but China, Japan, Korea, uh, the uh, importance of maritime connectivity should not be underemphasized. And uh, this means uh, that uh, the Northeast Asian countries uh, should be uh, really interested in protecting oceans and seas as common assets uh, or the commons where not only countries facing seas and, and oceans directly, but also users of oceans and seas uh, have to uh, protect. Uh, 
oceans and seas as commons. And uh, this means that uh, these countries uh, need to maintain peace, security, and safety, uh, free navigation and free access uh, to oceans and seas, uh, pollution-free blue water, sustainable development of marine resources, including fish stock, uh, under sea, oil and gas, and other resources, and also safety of underwater cables for digital connectivity. Now, this suggests that international cooperation is quite important based on the rule of law governed by, for example, uh, the uh, UNCLOS, United Nations Convention on the Law of the uh, Sea. Uh, looking at uh, Northeast Asia, more efforts are needed to strengthen maritime connectivity. Now, I took a look at uh, several indexes. Uh, uh, Mr. Kevin a uh, Ashton uh, earlier took a look at uh, one, of, uh, one of the indexes. I take a look at the quality of port infrastructure uh, reported by the World Economic Forum. Ease of trading across borders, uh, reported by the World Bank, and logistics performance index, reported by, uh, uh, by the World Bank also. Um, now, quality of, so for Northeast Asian countries, and uh, unfortunately, uh, there are no data for uh, North Korea. Uh, some indexes and uh, uh, ranking, particularly in the parentheses, uh, global ranking is shown. So, for example, quality of port infrastructure, uh, China ranks uh, uh, globally uh, number 49, and Mongolia 136. So Mongolia has no, no port, but uh, uh, facilitation by using China and, and Russia would be quite, uh, quite important. That, that's why Mongolia is included. Now, looking at uh, the quality of port infrastructure, uh, of course, uh, Mongolia and Russia uh, have significant uh, challenges. China, uh, given its importance of maritime power, uh, perhaps uh, uh, there is room for China to improve. Ease of uh, trading across borders. Uh, now, here, uh, uh, China, Mongolia, Russia, and even Japan uh, uh, can, can make uh, 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 significant improvements. Logistics performance index, by looking at the logistics performance index, uh, Mongolia needs to do a lot of work, Russia and uh, China, Japan, and, and, and uh, Korea uh, are doing relatively, relatively well. Overall, uh, significant efforts are needed for Russia and Mongolia on these areas. Uh, uh, this is a more specific indicator for uh, logistic performance index. Now, uh, turning to Northeast Asian cooperation, um, uh, I believe uh, a strong uh, scope exists for cooperation in Northeast Asia in infrastructure, connectivity, in trade and investment, and, and also in the movements of people, including uh, tourism. Uh, on infrastructure uh, connectivity, uh, I uh, take a look at uh, uh, two uh, issues. Uh, there is uh, the Greater Two Men uh, Initiative, uh, uh, that, that focuses on the Two Men River area and uh, to promote integration in the Two Men River region. Uh, they uh, have uh, come up with uh, some uh, vision for transport corridors in the Great Two Men region. Uh, given, given that uh, uh, North Korea, uh, give, given that South Korea uh, has no direct uh, land connectivity and Japan as a country, uh, maritime connectivity is quite uh, essential to complete 
uh, transport corridors uh, in the uh, greater Tumen region. And uh, natural gas pipeline uh, vision uh, is, uh, is also an important issue. Uh, Japan as an island country uh, has to work with uh, uh, Russia and, and Korea and various uh, other countries. On trade and uh, investment uh, uh, issues, uh, uh, FTAs, free trade agreements, uh, are uh, attracting a lot of, uh, lot of attention, maybe partly because of uh, Mr. Trump's policy and uh, 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 as a driver of uh, globalization. Uh, now, among the Northeast Asian countries, uh, China, Japan, and Korea are active in pursuing uh, free trade agreements or what uh, Japan calls economic partnership agreements. Uh, but Mongolia and Russia are less active. I have a, uh, I, I have a table on uh, the five countries' uh, FDA uh, activities, uh, but, but here uh, in the region, unfortunately, we do not have uh, many regional, uh, uh, Northeast Asian uh, FDAs. There are only two FDAs existing today in the region, China and Korea, and Japan and Mongolia. Uh, although uh, China, Japan, and Korea are working on CJK FDA, and also a greater uh, uh, RCEP. RCEP is a regional comprehensive economic partnership, uh, uh, including uh, 16 countries of uh, East Asia, 10 ASEAN uh, countries, India, Australia, uh, New Zealand, and CJK, China, Japan, and Korea. Uh, they are now intensively uh, working on this RCEP, uh, and hopefully uh, that's going to be concluded uh, by the end of uh, this year. Uh, now, among the Northeast Asian countries, Japan is the only member of uh, TPP, particularly TPP-11, uh, and uh, uh, also Korea and Russia are, are now negotiating uh, bilateral uh, uh, FTA, uh, that's, that's actually an FTA between Korea and uh, uh, Eurasian uh, uh, economic, uh, uh, economic Union. Uh, and uh, once uh, uh, we have done some study at our institute, once uh, Northeast Asian uh, economies, the five countries, uh, North Korea is uh, still a bit uh, far away, so focusing on five countries, we find that uh, the Republic of Korea, uh, uh, the Republic of Korea gains most through economic uh, integration, through trade and, and investment. Uh, other countries also benefit in terms of GDP. Uh, tourism cooperation is another important, uh, important type of uh, cooperation uh, because inbound tourism contributes to greater uh, uh, consumption spending uh, in, in, a receiving, in the receiving country, and also tourism contributes to uh, uh, greater mutual understanding uh, between the visitors and local local people. So, so it's a, it's really win-win, uh, and this would require cross-border infrastructure, including maritime connectivity, uh, ease of entry, and a conducive environment for uh, international tourism. And uh, Northeast Asian countries can jointly promote such uh, 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 exchanges. And uh, 
Finally, uh, for uh, Northeast Asian cooperation, I want to emphasize uh, that uh, uh, the countries, the neighboring countries can support the DPRK in economic uh, transition. Uh, uh, of course, uh, Northeast Asia, uh, sorry, uh, North Korea uh, has to come back to the international community uh, through denuclearization uh, and economic reform with uh, marketization, uh, market-oriented reform, and uh, uh, economic opening. Uh, and from the Japanese perspective, in order to provide financial aid uh, and convince uh, the Japanese public that uh, providing money to North Korea is useful, resolving the abduction issue is, uh, is quite, uh, quite, quite important. Uh, and uh, once uh, North Korea comes back to the international community, uh, there is, uh, there is a great future for, uh, for North Korea. So, so when uh, President Trump uh, met with uh, uh, Chairman uh, Kim Jong-un, uh, there was a film, film or uh, video, showing how great it would be for North Korea to come back to the, the international community. I, I liked, I liked that, that video uh, very, very much. I hope uh, uh, Chairman uh, Kim Jong-un was, uh, was impressed by, uh, by that uh, video. But, but anyway, uh, for North Korea to do so, North Korea has to become a member of the IMF, uh, the World Bank, ADB, and possibly the AIIB, uh, uh, and other financial institutions to receive multilateral financial support. But that, that means that North Korea has to show everything, uh, every economic uh, data uh, uh, to the uh, international organizations. Uh, and bilateral support would be quite, uh, quite in, uh, useful, and uh, North Korea can be uh, included in the East Asian supply chains uh, so that uh, everybody uh, would, uh, would, would benefit and infrastructure connectivity, maritime connectivity is quite, uh, quite important. Just, just in the last minute, I want to just uh, show a, uh, uh, a, uh, this uh, peaceful uh, diplomatic uh, envoys visiting uh, from Korea, uh, uh, Japan, uh, in the 17th and uh, 19th uh, century. And the UNESCO Memory of, uh, of the World Program uh, 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 decided to include uh, the, the memories uh, of uh, this peaceful exchange between Japan uh, and, and Korea uh, in the 17th, 18th, and 19th century. And uh, maritime, sorry, this is in Japanese, but the maritime connectivity was essential and, and uh, uh, that connected uh, between Seoul and, and Tokyo through Busan and Tsushima and all the way to Kyoto and, and Tokyo. So uh, my conclusion, uh, Northeast Asia is a region that benefits substantially from maritime connectivity and therefore uh, Northeast Asia needs a rules-based international order for maintaining free navigation and access and protecting oceans and seas as commons, as uh, common assets or common properties. And regional economic cooperation in Northeast Asia will benefit all countries in the region through various efforts, uh, including greater infrastructure, particularly maritime connectivity, uh, expansion of trade and foreign direct investment, and a possible Northeast Asia FTA, and greater movements of people such as business persons and tourists. And Northeast Asia will be an even more dynamic region once North Korea returns to the international community. And uh, Japan and Korea have had a long tradition 
of peaceful relations through maritime connectivity. Thank you very much for your attention.